Hi, I'm Lane Glenn, president of Northern Essex Community College here in the beautiful Merrimack Valley of Massachusetts. We are incredibly fortunate at Northern Essex to have tremendously talented faculty and staff all around us on campus here. People who are teaching and researching and preparing students for a world that is constantly changing. We are fortunate today to be here in the Top Notch Theater on NECC's Haverhill campus with one of those tremendously talented faculty members, Professor Leanne Beatrice, who has almost single-handedly revived live theater here at Northern Essex Community College for our students, our faculty and staff, and the people in the community who love to come to campus uh, to see our shows. Professor Beatrice, thank you so much for inviting me into your space here today. I appreciate that. I've spent a lot of time in theaters over the years, and it's always nice to come back into one um, and breathe it in. It just feels good. Let's start with this. Um, when I first started my job as president of Northern Essex Community College, a newspaper reporter was interviewed, and the first question he asked me was, so, a theater degree? And he made a face like that, he kind of cocked his head, and it was like, um, no one with a theater degree could ever be something like a college president or something. So tell me, how can any student, regardless of their major or their career interest, benefit from studying the field? Oh, that's a great question, Lane. Thank you. Um, th that is a great question because I believe here at Northern Essex that all students of all disciplines can benefit from theater, all humans in general, right? It's, it's the study of humanity. And so, um, you know, right off the bat, when, when I say students in the hallway, come, come take my classes or you should study theater. And what are the benefits of theater? Students will say, I'm, 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 I'm a math major. I don't want to do it, you know, or bio or right away. I say, okay, in the pursuit of our careers, one of the main things that we use is confidence yes. and feelings of self-worth, yeah, yeah. right? And saying, I know what I want. I know how I'm going to get it. I understand that I, I may be in a leadership position and I need to have bravery. I need to have courage, right? I need to stand in front of people. I need to strengthen my oral communication skills and be able to have this, this interpersonal dialogue with anyone that I need. And and if you think about the other disciplines, you take a test and it's private. It's mostly private. And you, and you take the test and, you, and you know, the teacher grades it and it comes back and you have the grade. And it's, it's a private win. It's a private moment. Anyone, any student of any discipline can absolutely benefit so from... The bravery, the confidence, yeah. what you just said about the material. Um, you just reminded me. Last week, I happened to be in Washington, D.C. I, I spent a day at the Atlantic Festival and I saw uh, an interview with Supreme Court Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson, who explained how beneficial it was for her to have been a theater kid. Yeah. Because, she said, um, she inhabited all these different personalities and she got to know people. And as a judge, that empathy yes. is so important to her. Can you say a few words about that, how students interact with the characters and the materials. You I said. love that you're saying that because that was part of what I, I was immediately right. So many things swirl around in my mind, and, the, and I also think of community. You know, we build, and I hope to, I hope to, to foster an environment where we have a community of people that become friends, that become allies, that be, you know, more than peers, but also there's a sense of empathy for each other, you know, and kindness of, you know, my, my peers is, is doing something brave and courageous and scary. Right? It can, it can feel scary. Yeah. And then, you know, the, the satisfaction of sitting down and, and having that applause and an immediate recognition of I did something important. When we do something important in life, when we put ourselves in a courageous position, we allow others to feel like they can do the same. Well, you, you have done masterful work here in North Essex helping to put students into that position of, of both bravery and accomplishment, right? Let me try another question. Um, what is a myth or two about careers in the arts and the truth behind that myth or two that you'd like people to know? Um, I think number one is always, there's no money in this. There's no career path, right? You're, you're not going to make money. You're not going to make money. Um, and, and even people have thought, you're, you're a professor because you couldn't make money, right? There's money in this. Uh, there's a career path in this. First of all, I always say, don't, don't chase the money. Chase your passion. Money will come, right? So it's not just, I went to acting school and I'm not an actor and that's it for me. All this skill set and everything I learned is gone. Well, you can be a president, right? You can be a politician. You can use this skill set in other parts of the field, which is you know, design, lighting design, sound design, 
stage management. So there's other ways to build a career for yourself that's not necessarily I'm going show to show. Yeah. You know, once you start learning the world of theater, you understand that the opportunities can come from directing or writing, screenwriting, playwriting, right? There's so many different facets. So if once you immerse yourself, don't think about I'm not going to make money or that, you know, that's a myth that I think a lot of students and people in general get are afraid of. There are a lot of transferable skills. That, I guess. that reporter I told you about. Yes. I, I don't remember exactly what I said, but something along the lines of, well, if you think about it, when you study acting in particular, but you know, careers in the theater, you have to learn how to work with a bunch of quirky personalities around a common vision, yeah. right? Put something on the stage that people will buy, you know, put butts into seats. Yeah. Marketing, promotion, fundraising, communication skills, all those things that are so valuable in lots of other ways. Now, you yourself are the epitome of this, right? Yes, you teach here, you've been teaching in Northern Essex for 15 years or so and other places. And you simultaneously had this wonderful professional career as an actress, an award-winning actress, and showing it in, in, in theaters all around the Boston area. What are some of the benefits your students get from that professional experience that you had? Gosh, um, what a great question. And thank you for saying that. I, you know, I, I hope, I hope to start that, that it's inspiring. Yeah. You know, theory into practice. Right? We're in school, we want to do this, we're reading about it, we're writing about it, we're learning about it. I, now I want to do it. I want the next steps. What happens now? So I think, in, especially here at, at NECC, I'm able to uh, coach the students and allow the students to understand the trajectory of where this goes. Where do we go from academia into the next step in regards to my career? How do I build a career? First of all, they, you know, they can get a ticket, they can go to Greater Boston Stage, they can sit there and say, that's my professor doing what I want to be doing. This is cool. Yeah. You know, uh, they get to meet the people in the industry, Paula Plum and uh, Bob Walsh, and who are these players at Greater Boston Stage? Who is Waylon Sims? You know, who are these people that I want to know? So there's networking, and there's also this, uh, this ability to say, my teacher's done it, so I can do it. And I think that that, that, that being able to say, I, didn't, I did it you know, 20 years ago, but I'm doing it now and I'm still doing it now. And I'm going to keep doing it. And it's a career you can keep working on, right? I always say, it's, I'm not even there yet, right? I haven't even hit the grades. I haven't even reached the age to hit the grades. And there I have a list of them. I can't wait to play this and this and this. And I, I'm just waiting, you know, not really, but I'm just waiting. <laughs> can't wait till I'm in my 50s and I can get cast in these roles. And I think that that inspires our students to say, not only is she doing it, uh, this person that's teaching me, my mentor, my educator, but I can do it and I know how to do it. I know how to become equity. I know where to go. I know the players. I know what's happening out there in the community. And I think that that's really beneficial to our students. All right. So last question, uh, a student or a family member or somebody sees this interview we're doing out on social media some weeks from now and thinks, huh? I'd like to know more. I'd like to learn more about this. Where, where do they go? Where do they, go? they come to NECC, right? They come here to our, to our college and they sign up for our classes. I teach a variety of classes. What's the best one to start with for that student? The one who, who just intro to theater. theater. Intro, intro to, to theater. theater. I always offer intro to theater in the fall semester, whether it be online or in person. What is somebody who Intro to theater. Everything you want to know about theater and why you should advance. It's right. You learn the greats, you learn restoration, you learn in Shakespeare, you don't have to perform necessarily, okay. right? So it's not a scary class, but it's a class where you understand the world of theater and, and um, right, you challenge yourself to feel good in these classes. You challenge yourself to understand who you are and why you are the way you are. And who doesn't want to know that about themselves? Well, we're here on the planet. I, want, I, want, I still want to know these things, you know, as, as I continue to age. And I say, email me, you know, Brian Beatrice, NECC Theater, email me anytime. We're on Instagram, NECC Theater. Message me, you know, find me, any, come to my office, come see the shows. Come see the shows, they're all over. You know, we do two full-scale productions a year. Come check out some of the shows, introduce yourself to me, and we'll take it from there. Watching this program uh, evolve and thrive over the last few years, the way that it has under your leadership has been incredible. I, I don't know how you do this Almost entirely. I know you have other friends and people and students, and you do so much of this on your own. The social media aspect of it, the casting, the productions, the classes, um, you're a wonder, and I appreciate you. Um, and it shows in what our students are accomplishing. So thank you so very much uh, for joining us for Night Spotlight. Thank you most of all uh, for sharing your time and your talents uh, as an educator here in Northern Essex uh, with our students and with our communities. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much.